Judith Taylor, founder of Bald and Beautiful Day. Thanks for joining me so that I can share with you the history of this special day and share with you how adults with cancer can enjoy a day of fun, pampering and well-being. And then Julie Midson York, president of Bald and Beautiful Day, will tell you how you can make a difference. Bald and Beautiful Day all began with my mother having cancer. She's had cancer for a number of years and I have spent countless hours at the hospital with her. And during these times, I noticed that there were some similarities with the patients. They were all receiving great treatment and had a wonderfully positive attitude. But what was similar was that they all went home and felt alone and unimportant and then to make matters worse, their hair fell out. And I realised that nothing was actually being done to address the well-being of patients with cancer. And I got thinking about what Camp Quality does for children and what Canteen does for teenagers. And I realised that what adults needed was their own version of well-being. So I got together with a couple of friends of mine and, and we discussed it and the three of us got together and formed a team of people and that's when we held the first Bald and Beautiful Day in May 2005. And what was amazing about this day was that people could forget their sickness, there was no sickness on the day, and that they were enjoying a day of fun, pampering and well-being. But the thing that I wasn't expecting was that everyone who was involved on the day were touched, moved and inspired, and every single person went home with a smile on their face and feeling really happy and asking, well, when was the next Bald and Beautiful Day going to happen? That's when I realised that Bald and Beautiful needed to continue, but more than that, it needs to be available to every adult with cancer across Australia. So let's just take a look at what a Bald and Beautiful Day is all about. <music> So now you know a little bit about Bald and Beautiful Day. We don't want it to be a secret. Like all people who have found something special and deeply meaningful in their lives, we want to tell the world. At present, Bald and Beautiful Day only happens once a year. But what a day. That day has to be just right. So pick a day to suit you and help us achieve our vision of a national bald and beautiful day for adults 
with cancer. What a great outpouring of community spirit that would be. The emphasis is not on cancer. The emphasis is on giving men and women with cancer a day to enjoy themselves. It's a time to put their illness aside for a while and be indulged, to feel beautiful, there are others to feel in the community careful. who want to help. Most of us feel that our lives are pretty good. Those of us who are involved with Bald and Beautiful Day share an innate desire to contribute something of ourselves to help others. So what can you do? You can donate your pampering skills or products on the day. You can make a financial contribution to ensure the day's success. You can form a team and hold your own Bald and Beautiful Day in your community. We would love to help you. Just email or ring to find out just what you can do.